You've just got to get to Gateway Ford Lincoln Mazda in Greenville online at gatewaydeal.com. Welcome to this edition of Your High School Sports. I'm your host, Roddy Woods, back in the studio today with Chris Blevins and Chris Reddick. We was on the road last week. I hope you enjoyed, fans, our tour of the East Tennessee State Thomas Stadium. A great place to play baseball, wouldn't it be? Oh, man, I, I had a great time. We appreciate Chris letting us come yes. out there, and uh, I think that's something in the future we look forward to doing some more. So we appreciate that. Hope you guys enjoyed that. All right, let's move right on. You know it's always time for the question of the week, and this is courtesy of Mr. Reddy this week. With summer approaching us, what is your favorite outdoor activity? Now, this could be anything. You say it could be anything, right? It could be anything, whatever you enjoy doing in the summer. Okay. Well, I mean, my favorite thing is, I mean, swimming. I mean, I like the lake. I like getting in the pool. Uh, some people like laying out, but I like the water. So, and then you know, you got the Olympics coming up. You got Michael yeah. Phelps. You got swimming coming up. I mean, it's pretty impressive to watch that. Um, and he's got a pretty good chance of winning. He might have a little competition this year, mm-hmm. but uh, mm-hmm. I think swimming for me would be a great summer sport. I mean, I I know you have indoor swimming stuff like that, but in the summertime, don't you think of the water and being outside and doing some of those activities like you know, wakeboarding or skiing or tubing? I mean, all, all kinds of stuff on the water. The I think water. that's kind of fun like that. So. All right, what well, you said. You know, when when this season comes around, the hot weather season, I actually enjoy a good game of tennis. I like to play a little tennis oh, okay. in the uh, summertime. It's always a good time for me to get out there and take some swings and some frustration out, you know, hitting that <laughs> tennis ball, you know. Frustration because usually I'm hitting it over the fence. But anyway, <laughs> uh, I enjoy a good game of tennis in the uh, summertime. So I uh, look forward to the summer weather and getting out there playing a little bit. And I just like getting out, you know. Victoria and I like to walk. We go for walks, and you just get – you're just out there. The summertime brings that get, – you're getting out in the, in the elements, and it's just a, a great time for all. You know, I like – you know, I swim a little bit, don't play tennis, but walking, maybe a little bit of running, some jogging, getting out. That's what we encourage you to do, fans. Get out and take in the summer weather. You know, it's a great time to be out. Let me tell you something else I enjoy. You see this nice, freshly squeezed oh. lemonade that I have? <laughs> After a good game of tennis, I love to refresh and cool down with some nice, freshly squeezed lemonade. That's why we have it on the set. That's why we have it on the set. Freshly squeezed lemonade. We'll tell you where we got it yeah. a little bit later. A little mm. bit later. All right, guys, let's, let's crank the things up now. Uh, around the nation and, a, and across the region, we'll start with – with Mr. Blevins today. Well, sure. Well, we know we're still talking baseball a little bit as we get into the summer here. Uh-huh. So we're still transitioning into uh, football. Uh, but we want to mention somebody from Alcoa. His name is Ramon Walsh. She actually threw a no-hitter. Yes. Uh, which is, you know, he's left-handed too. So that kind of gives me a little advantage, a little bit in baseball, I think. But, yeah, jump it back. but he kind of, you know, jerks <laughs> in there. But uh, he threw a no-hitter. He's actually a Tennessee walk-on. So he's actually going to Tennessee, which I thought okay. was cool. Uh, but he threw a no-hitter against Catholic, and they won three to nothing. Uh, we also got a lot of district uh, tournaments going on now for high school baseball. So if you go out and you know, support your local teams, there's a lot of things going on around your region and around in your you know specific counties or having your region tournaments coming up after the district tournaments. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then to kind of go back to something we also been doing is kind of follow the ETSU people. Mm-hmm. We have uh, Jackson Greer that plays for Central High. He actually threw a four-hit game okay. just recently, but they actually beat the top-seeded Carnes team. So it was actually a really good you know adding for baseball and we got a lot of things going but four hits allowed and no hitter kind of the same week i thought that was pretty impressive i wanted to share that with you guys yep. uh and also you know congrats to him for able to commit to etsu for jackson greer so that's kind of we had it around the region a little bit and kind of in the baseball season as we transition more into football so. well in the spring you know you're talking about things going on there's track the sectionals are going on right. you got girls softball and you got soccer so there's a lot going on right now you know school's getting ready to wind down but a lot of things happening so if you're and say as school winds down, you see all these tournaments come into play, and it's just a few more weeks here. All this stuff happens really quick here at the end of school. So. Yep. What, yeah. What's going on around the nation? Around the nation, well, you know me. I always try to find something interesting to talk about. Uh, of course, it's baseball season. A lot of the spring sports are out. But here at the Your High School Sports Show, we enjoy football. So we try to find a football story <laughs> any way we can. <laughs> found one. Okay. Uh, USA Today was talking about these Oh, massive, expensive, nice, 
high school football stadiums. And I took a look at some of these stadiums, and they look like better than some of the top 1AA football stadiums. Wow. Uh, it's very impressive. Of course, a lot of them are in Texas. And uh, just passed from uh, McKinney in McKinney, Texas, the mm -hmm. Motors passed on a uh, $220 million bond. And within that money, it's going to include 50 million of it's going to go towards a brand new 12,000 seat uh, see the capacity stadium that's Whoa. the state of the art and we're, wow. we're talking high school football and, and guys uh, you know there's some nice high school football stadiums here in our area but um, you know you know Elizabeth just built a nice one very oh, yeah. nice it looks really good but it holds maybe uh, 35 to 4,000 people Science Hill is one of the top uh Stadiums mm -hmm, and they mm -hmm. hold what maybe seven, right. like seven thousand. Dobbins Bennett. Dobbins Bennett. They really just, nice. At, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Imagine what these look like. You're yeah. talking about yeah. Dobbins Bennett, uh, another local one. They added their. They, they now into double deckers. You know, got the mm -hmm. double decker stadium. But but, the, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, just take a look. McKinney Stadium on what they're about to do. But there's their stadium's not up yet because already built. There's another stadium that uh, is in Allen, Texas, and it's an. 18,000 seated capacity 18, stadium. 18,000? 18,000. And I looked at some video of this stadium with the people in it and the, and the, the, the players coming out. And, golly, it's just – you know, I just think back when I was in high school. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, that's what I was thinking. We, about. we had an impressive uh, game against Science Hill back in uh, 1988. I'm sure Mr. Bart Lyon would like to talk about that. <laughs> But uh, <laughs> we uh, we did our best, and they want to say there was like eight to ten thousand people in our little four or five thousand stadium uh, uh, stadium we had in Elizabeth. But but to make that happen, I don't know if it was exactly that many. They had to go around. People were just standing around. Oops. So <laughs> not get first three. You could imagine an eighteen thousand seated stadium to yeah. play play ball in. It's just incredible. Yeah, ETSU, we were right last year. There were 1,000 seats there. I know. So 18, for, for high school. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> and, and one more. There's one in Katy, Texas that's going to be built in 2017. I think it's going to also include uh, 18,000 seats. Wow. Hey, wow. That, that's high school football extravaganza. Yeah. <laughs> right wow. there in Texas. So yeah. when we come back here on your high school sports, we're going to have Bart Lyons is going to be talking about all things going on in the Tri-Cities area, and we're going to have a special interview with Mr. Justin Bernard. He just signed his letter of intent to play Ivy League football at Cornell. So make sure you stay right here on your high school sports. We'll be right back. <laughs> I never thought I'd get into the car business or work with my dad, but some things you just shouldn't pass up, like our carefree car deal with upfront pricing below the factory invoice and our lifetime powertrain warranty. You've just got to get to Gateway Ford Lincoln Mazda in Greenville, online at gatewaydeal.com. Mmm, just look at all those freshly made Krispy Kreme donuts. I'm sure it makes you want one or a dozen right now. So come visit our locally owned and operated Krispy Kreme Donuts in Pigeon Forge. Our Krispy Kreme donuts are made fresh daily, our service is fast and friendly, and the taste will put a smile on anyone's face. Krispy Kreme is a fundraising favorite, so call us today to help support your school or community fundraising efforts. Our delivery truck is there when you need us. Krispy Kreme donuts on the Parkway in Pigeon Forge. Gateway. Get Green County's only lifetime warranty on these incredible Gateway deals. Late model crossovers like Ford Escapes, GMC Terrains, Jeeps, and Honda CRVs from only $12.9. Gateway Ford Lincoln Mazda in Greenville online at gatewaydeal.com. The revolutionary safety of the Michelin Premier family of tires is now available for more cars, trucks, minivans, and SUVs. So whatever you drive, you can take on wet or slippery roads with confidence mile after mile. Double D Tire can help you take changing weather in stride and save. Double D Tire has been family owned and operated since 1981. Owners Tommy and Flint Carter specialize in tires, alignments, brakes, suspension repairing, and custom wheels. Double D Tire would like to thank all their customers and look forward to serving you in the future. Get the right services you need from a name you can trust at Crescent Center Drugs. Whether it's hormone replacement therapy or if you need to update your immunizations for flu, pneumonia, or shingles, Crescent Center Drugs has a professional and friendly staff always ready to take care of you. That's why for many years, Crescent Center Drugs has been your good neighbor pharmacy. Right now, getting your medicine is fast and easy when you sign up for the IVR system. It's simple. Once your prescription is filled, your box is scanned, and you instantly receive a phone call or text for pickup. Visit Crescent Center Drugs inside the Crescent Shopping Center.
Welcome back to this edition of Your High School Sports. I'm your host, Roddy Woods, and we have on the line with us now, Mr. Bart Lyons. Bart, what's going on up there in the Tri-Cities area? I'll tell you, you know, every time we talk, Roddy, I try to explain how busy we are up here in the Tri-Cities. And, uh, again, a very busy week of high school athletics and uh, some good things going on up here in this neck of the woods. You know, uh, it's tournament, it's playoff time, so give us a rundown on the playoff situation up there. It's playoff time, and, uh, you know, in, in the, the baseball, Triple A, it's just the two, the two, big, two big dogs again, always Science Hill and Dobbins Bennett, and uh, definitely look for Tennessee High and Daniel Boone to, to make some noise in the Triple A as well. And in the, uh, and in the Double A, uh, Southern East, Southern South, um, are, are, you know, the teams that look to me as well as Unicoi County. So, uh, watch out for, for them as, as well as Elizabeth from time to time. And, and I tell you what, Happy Valley's playing some good baseball right now as well in, uh, in class double A. I know that you call a lot of softball. And I think you told me that you, you did a, a game last Saturday. Was that softball or baseball? Did, did some softball down at Legion Field in uh, Greenville and had had the had the big county rivalry between Sullivan, uh, excuse me, between uh, South Green and North Green, and uh, South Green came out victorious with a big three-two uh, uh, win. But you know the top four teams in that league. You talk about Unica, North Green, and University High, and South Green, and uh, that's a very good competition as well. So I'm gonna wrap things up with baseball. Let's move on to football. Give me something. What's happening up there? It's, it's spring football time. What's happening up there? I'll tell you what. Again, in the baseball uh, uh, class A, uh, again, Hampton, University High, South Green, and uh, Plowland are all right there fighting it out, and uh, uh, North Green as well. But, uh, you know, class A is really looking strong in baseball. And then you mentioned, you mentioned football. A lot, yes. a lot of the schools are having uh, – Spring practice right now, Science Hill. I got an opportunity to stop by practice the other day and, uh, you know, have to replace a lot of guys on defense. Uh, but uh, Coach Carter and his staff will definitely get the guys uh, uh, rallied up and have them to go this fall, no doubt. All right, Mr. Lyons, we appreciate you being a part of this week's Your High School Sports, and we'll look forward to talking to you next week. Hopefully we'll get some more football insight from you because – Everybody you know watching your high school sports wants to know about the big the big Tri Cities football area up there. So we'll right. we'll talk to you next week, Mr. Bart Lyons. Thank you. Have a good one. All right. Mr. Bart Lyons, our Tri Cities correspondent right here on your high school sports. We'll be back. <laughs>in the market for a quality used vehicle, here's a grand opening you don't want to miss. Gateway Auto Center of Jonesboro is now open. East Tennessee's bargain outlet for cars, trucks, SUVs, and more. Located across from Ingalls in Jonesboro, a division of Gateway Ford Lincoln Mazda in Greenville, and the only used car dealer in the region offering the Gateway Carefree Car Deal on over 100 pre-owned vehicles. Upfront pricing posted on the windshield. Top dollar for your trade-in and a lifetime powertrain warranty. Gateway Auto Center on Highway 11E in Jonesboro. Online at gatewayusedcars.com. Mmm, just look at all those freshly made Krispy Kreme donuts. I'm sure it makes you want one or a dozen right now. So come visit our locally owned and operated Krispy Kreme donuts in Pigeon Forge. Our Krispy Kreme donuts are made fresh daily, our service is fast and friendly, and the taste will put a smile on anyone's face. Krispy Kreme is a fundraising favorite, so call us today to help support your school or community fundraising efforts. Our delivery truck is there when you need us. Krispy Kreme donuts on the Parkway in Pigeon Forge. Gateway. Get Green County's only lifetime warranty on these incredible Gateway deals. Late model crossovers like Ford Escapes, GMC Terrains, Jeeps, and Honda CRVs from only $12.9. Gateway Ford Lincoln Mazda in Greenville online at gatewaydeal.com. Welcome back to your high school sports. I'm your host, Roddy Woods, and I'm with senior quarterback from Science Hill. Mr. Justin Bernard. And Justin, we appreciate you taking time. I know football season's over now and you're getting ready to graduate and move on. And, you know, I want to ask a few questions about things. The four years you're here at Science Hill, how did it help you prepare to go on to where you signed to 
play college football at? Um, I mean, I think the, the biggest thing was really just the competition that we had every day at practice. I mean, like the program that, that we've kind of built and the, uh, the players that we've had, you know, with Malik and then my freshman year going back to Reed Hayes and those guys, I mean, just to be around the high level, the best players in the area every single year, um, it just makes you raise your game. And that's how college is, is everybody's a great player. So it just I've been used to that, though, my whole career. You know, moving from Science Hill into the Ivy League, you know, you have signed your letter to play football at the next level at Cardell. Mm -hmm. uh, how does that make you feel and why did you make that decision? Um, I mean, I, I'm definitely happy with it and I'm comfortable with it. Um, I, was, I was extremely thankful to be recruited by the number of people that I was, but the biggest thing for me was just um, – Go, going to an Ivy League school, I mean, not many people have the opportunity to do that and, mm -hmm. and be one of those guys. You know, I, I think when they were recruiting me, one of their biggest things is they, every Ivy League player, you know, there's only 300 freshmen that come in as Ivy League football players every year, and that's a pretty amazing statistic because those are the, the best schools in the country. And to get to mm -hmm. be a student athlete there, it can just open up so many things in your life. And just to be a part of a, a, pre a prestigious school and mm -hmm. a prestige, prestigious league, I mean, it's just – couldn't really ask for anything else. Are they going to – did they talk to you about what position do they want you to play? Uh, yeah, I mean, so they, they're offensively a true power eye team. Uh, okay. So they're going to look at me at, at fullback and then getting some – some carries uh, from the tailback position as a in some short yardage stuff, but I mean I just don't really fit in as a as a power eye quarterback. It's not really not really my style. So I was happy with that. I loved playing running back my junior year, and I'm I'm happy to be moving back. I know we had talked. Uh, my producer and I were talking about you. You know, you, the only year you played quarterback here at Science Hill was your senior year. Mm -hmm. So you were prepared to to run the football in the Ivy League, correct? Um, I mean, I'd like to think so. I definitely think we played great teams, and I've in my career played against great players that are at huge, you know, Division One colleges now, and, and taking hits by them and got right back up. And so, I mean, I think that's helped a lot. And uh, yeah, definitely having the experience at multiple positions just helped me be just an all-around football player. And that's one of the biggest things. And they were recruiting me. You know, they said we like that you can, you know, you were easy to move around. You're doing things to help the team, and, and that's that's a huge deal to me, and is a huge deal to them. You know, uh, playing in the Ivy League, you'll play. Yale and Harvard and, and Penn, all those schools. Did that have some bearing on where you wanted to play football at? Oh, for sure. I mean, if you go to an Ivy League game, you know, it's not the same atmosphere as what you're going to see at a huge Division One. You know, it's not 100,000 people or anything like that, but it's it's definitely special in its own way. I mean, when you walk into the Yale Bowl or, or the Coliseum at Harvard and, and you walk out on that field and you think about all the tradition and all the mm -hmm. national championships and all the people that have been Ivy League football players and, you know, at Cornell, it's just – it's just a special place, just all the tradition. And, you know, when you go when you go in the buildings and stuff like that, as opposed to some of the other places that recruited me with the new nice lockers and stuff, mm -hmm. like, like it, it's old and it's traditional and there's something special and, you know, there's something to be said for that for sure. You know, going up there, when, now, we, we, you've signed and everything is ready to go. When do you actually report to campus? Um, the, the official report date for the Ivy League per NCAA rules is in August at, at some point. They can't officially bring you up before that, but I'm moving up. Uh, July 5th is what I'm set to do right now, and I'm moving in uh, with a guy that's got a place up there for the summer. He's actually from Toronto, okay. um, and I'm going to get to work out with the team and, and be one of the earliest guys up there is my plan right now, and just get acclimated to the to the new you know the regiment and be be in that college style weight room which you know from even on my official visit I got to see a workout and it's just a totally different thing I mean there's no messing around in there so I'm excited to get to do that in the summer and, and be around the guys before practice actually starts when you went on your official visit did you go to a game was there a game going on or did you go after the season was over I went after the season um, you know we just we couldn't set it up during the season because I had games and then I was playing basketball afterwards so I went kind of towards the end of the basketball season uh, I think it was late January and I mean, it was freezing but I had a, I, was I, I had a great time and you know they, they showed me a really good time and the guys were great people so Let's talk about that. Being cold, you, you, right here, it's kind of the four seasons up there. Yeah. And tell our fans where it's actually at. Where is Cornell at? Uh, Cornell is in Ithaca, New York. It's about two and a half hours north of New York City. Uh, so it's in the middle of nowhere, but it's an amazing <laughs> town. It's, it's actually in last year's Princeton Review ranked the number one college town in America, which was a huge you know, deciding factor for me. So there's not a lot around it, but once you get up there, it's, it's an amazing place. And in the summer, it's beautiful, but the winters are definitely brutal. Um, on my official visit, the day I flew out, it was negative 28 with the wind chill and I was really cold but I mean from what I mean what they've told me is you just bundle up put a jacket on go to class and take it off when you get there and repeat every day so 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 you're looking forward to this huh oh for sure I'm excited I'm really excited you know the thing about we we've 
since we've been coming here and talking to you and we got to know you over this year, you know, I can say this one thing. You're going to a place where they're going to definitely be some – they're definitely going to love what you bring into their football program and to their university. I mean, I definitely hope so. That's, I think, what, you know, a dream come true for every football player going to the next level is just to be able to contribute and be able to bring something special to your team and, and your new football family. And that's just – that's my goal, to come in as a freshman and work hard and start the process over again, work my way up and – get to just really contribute to that football program and help build it. Let me ask you a last question. Did they say anything about you playing as a freshman? Um, they said, you know, some special teams things uh, that I'd be able to do were as a personal protector on punt because one thing I wasn't aware of was in college they do so much more with special teams, so they actually call out coverages like you would a normal offensive line on okay. punt. So they said one thing that I'd be able to probably do is come in and help with the coverage calling as a personal protector because I'm familiar with that from playing quarterback and be able to be vocal on that. But, I mean, as a, as a true freshman to, to play on offense or defense, it's really tough, but, I mean, that's what I'm going to be working for. All right, we wish you all the luck. Justin Menard, soon to graduate from here at Science Hill High School, moving on to the Ivy League. So make sure you stay right here on your high school sports. We'll follow Justin. Hopefully he can send us a few clips with some pictures of things so we can follow him in the Ivy League. So we'll be right back here on your high school sports right after this. The revolutionary safety of the Michelin Premier family of tires is now available for more cars, trucks, minivans, and SUVs. So whatever you drive, you can take on wet or slippery roads with confidence mile after mile. Double D Tire can help you take changing weather in stride and save. Double D Tire has been family owned and operated since 1981. Owners Tommy and Flint Carter specialize in tires, alignments, brakes, suspension repairing, and custom wheels. Double D Tire would like to thank all their customers and look forward to serving you in the future. Volunteer Chevrolet is your friendly hometown dealership, proudly serving the region for over 20 years. At Volunteer Chevrolet, you'll get great offers on select new vehicles from Chevy cars, trucks, and SUVs. So come see the new look at Volunteer Chevrolet and take advantage of their great deals. Volunteer Chevrolet is still easy to find on 400 Winfield Dunn Parkway, Sevierville. Volunteer Chevrolet is a proud sponsor of YourHighSchoolSports.com, Sevier County. right services you need from a name you can trust at Crescent Center Drugs. Whether it's hormone replacement therapy or if you need to update your immunizations for flu, pneumonia, or shingles, Crescent Center Drugs has a professional and friendly staff always ready to take care of you. That's why for many years Crescent Center Drugs has been your good neighbor pharmacy. Right now getting your medicine is fast and easy when you sign up for the IVR system. It's simple. Once your prescription is filled, your box is scanned and you instantly receive a phone call or text for pickup. Visit Crescent Center Drugs inside the Crescent Shopping Center. We'll have that at Gateway Ford. Please hold just one moment. Hi, this is Cindy from Gateway Ford Lincoln Mazda. You're watching your high school sports. Thank you for holding. How may I help you? Welcome back to this edition of your high school sports. I want to give a shout out to Justin, a great kid. I see him playing on Saturdays in the Ivy League. Oh, well, no doubt. I mean, that's what the kid's up there. He said he'd like to be able to get into the lineup right there as a freshman. He said it's kind of a rare thing, but he's going there to compete, and I think that's what he's going to do. Well, he also said he would go on on special teams because he said yes. that's where he's a quarterback here. He could actually get up there and actually call some of the plays on special teams, which yeah. in college he was talking about how much that is a really important thing and that yeah. he can go ahead and impact it right there. So yeah. I think he'll get on the field. I think he will too. Oh, yeah. Well, we wish you the best from your high school sports, Mr. Justin Bernard. All right, guys, it's time to give away the baseballs and the basketballs to Holston and Holmes, and that's coming up Monday. This Monday, May the 16th, we'll be at Holston and Holmes, and we'll be giving away those baseballs and basketballs and the crab balls and the <laughs> kickballs, kick ball. whatever yes. you want to bring. You still have a little bit of time. You have today, the rest of the day, and tomorrow here at Gateway Ford and on Monday. The day before we go, just go ahead and run by there and drop something at F-150. Well, I think we're going about 3 o'clock. Yeah, and, and you know what? We'll probably end up at Gateway about 5.30. And if they if they miss the 3 o'clock boat, hey, and they see us at 5.30, we'll still take those balls and bring them right back to yes. uh, host at home. Yes, so. we will. You know, it, it's a great it's a great thing that we're trying to do, fans. And if you'll go to your high school sports – and look at our website, see our mission statement. It'll tell you exactly why we're doing this. We are wanting to give those underprivileged kids something to call their own. If it's a crab ball, yep. 
I, I have no sense. I've never seen one, but you say it's crab ball. You can't miss it. You can't miss it. And the kickball. Hey, hey, who remembers Nukem? Nukem. It was kind of like a little square type spongy ball. Anyway, I don't. You need to get one. Show. <laughs> I'm still wanting to see the crab ball myself. <laughs> but guys, we you know this is a great cause. Remember Monday, May 16th. This coming Monday now. Good, get out there and get something in the gateway so we can drop all this off at Holston Homes Monday. Last words? Uh, I mean, definitely don't forget after we do this, we're going to be going on to other sports too, yes, right? Yes, we so are. So we're going to do uh, anywhere, go for baseballs. We're going to do gloves, right? I mean, into the summertime. I mean, we'll be promoting stuff. If you have anything that you'd like to donate to Sports for Kids, just get on our website, shoot us a message, or get a hold of Roddy. We'll make sure we get it to him. But we're going to be doing much more things with Sports for Kids. So look forward to the different things we're going to be doing in the future. Last word? Uh, I promise I'll tell you about this freshly squeezed lemonade. This was made today by Miss Victoria, <laughs> and she did a wonderful job, and uh, we may send you the recipe. Summertime treat. Hey, for a fact, too, by the way. Oh, yeah. Last great. thing, for UT, for, throw my little UT fact in there. Yes, you got to have um, one. Joe Arrington, the coordinator for the Tennessee Vols, actually won the SEC Video Coordinator of the Year 2015-2016, and it's actually his fourth time winning that award for that. So congratulations to Joe Arrington. That's just kind of cool. Something we are definitely a part of. So we yes. want to shoot that out to him. So that's pretty cool from behind the scenes. So that's why Tennessee is kind of on the up and up. You uh, never know. You, you know, know. So Butch is building that. Insights. He's building it brick by brick. You never know. So here we go. Yep. All right. For Chris Levins and Chris Reddick, I'm Roddy Woods, and we'll see you next week right here on Your High School Sports. You've just got to get to Gateway Ford Lincoln Mazda in Greenville online at gatewaydeal.com.